Okay, let's move on towards game one. First off of day seven match three, it seems like we wouldn't be able to see Dongshan coming out of stream wars first against this team. Now that no one has brought flywheel, so we're gonna have to see how this game goes in a shall we? It's gonna be Magician Gardener first house on of course a coordinator. Okay, moving on towards the game. Seems like we will be choosing... Oh, it's a hospital map here. So, hum. AKS coordinator going straight towards Shaq for our Shaq here. Meanwhile, there's going to be someone in middle, magician in middle, and we're throwing our leech out towards statues. Okay, so coordinator here is going to be getting the first leech. We're going to deploy the leech right outside that pallet. No, right inside the pallet area. But it seems like for Cordy here, we are going to be going behind Shaq here. Mm, first gun is most likely very useful, especially with the fact that there's only one leech nearby. But would Cordy use this gun early is another good question. We're going to be able to get the patroller out. And of course, the patroller deciding to run behind. I I'm guessing for this situation, you probably don't need to push. Yeah, you probably don't need to actually use the gun just yet. Um, but even with that on mind, first hit here, registering on towards the leech. Coordinator pulling a little bit of a distance here away from the area, but also losing. Do we see where Cordy is? I do think we do know where Cordy is. Okay, that's a very nice patrol up right there from Dome X. Very nicely timed. And Cordy going down here in 70 seconds. 70 seconds quite fast. We do have around two and a half side from machine done here. Meanwhile, it's going to be a chair closely towards Shaq. Just so we know where the survivor is coming from, because there's only two ways the survivors can come, can come from instead of three. There's no basement in Shaq, which is a little bit unfortunate. We do see that first officer is already running in straight towards for the rescue but of course from dream witch's side leeching on here would be very important we did manage to get the leech here thankfully and i would say preferably speaking here right if you can put a leech in inside jack it probably would be for the best but there's also an issue if cordy guns and goes behind jack instead and then we are going to be able to finish two and a half side machines right now first officer that's going to be the third pocket watch utilization right there we didn't get the hit on towards first officer there sadly coordinator being able to pick up the delete mark and seems like for now it's gonna end up as a really good rebound cut here from coordinator especially with the fact that cordy does have a gun and the patroller is currently only three bites if i'm not wrong one initial bites and then two follow-up bites but of course going straight towards a two-story area like hospital it's going to be very strong for cordy here especially when it comes to drop down levels too it really suits um survivors more than the dream witcher especially if dream witch has his patrollers hmm cordy rushing straight towards the window meanwhile we're trying to look for where first officer is we're not currently at max prison just yet but survivors three and a half cipher machines done right now cordy is going to be able to get that patrollers by but even with that patrollers by in mind seems like the gun will be we could use the gun here but we're not using it just yet we're gonna blink out instead and with the blink on mind, it's a bit unfortunate, but I guess the blink at least allowed us to... Blink here at least allowed us uh, to not get gone down. Because the patroller by used first is to force the gun, but it seems like we're not able to force the gun, so we instead we decide to blink down to force a no rebound kite potential from Cordy's side. Okay, turns out being nearby right now as the gardener, but it seems like for our dreamy, we actually want to get the coordinator down near that cipher machine. So that cipher machine is only at 30% though, so even with that on mind, turns I did he get rid of the chair is another good question. Did he get rid of the chair is another good question. It seems like he didn't. Okay, if he didn't get rid of the chair here, then coordinator only has a 10% um, chair buff. So even with that on mind right now, Art is currently decoding. We do see that sur uh, th survivors. Okay, we do see a magician coming in to rescue at least. With a magician coming in to rescue here, we did get the rescue. There's a gun still though. There's a gun still though. So that is not the worst. Okay, we do see where the leech is, and that's gonna be a Cordy head down. Okay, now then for Donex, he's gonna have to see how he starts controlling the last cipher machine here. There is a doc. There is a gardener. That's a very good blink. And there's a gardener and a first officer on the field. Mm, coordinator's leech should be 
Where's Cordy? Cordy does have a leech here, thankfully, but preferably speaking, we would love to get a hit here on Gardner. If we can get a hit here on Gardner, it probably would be for the best, just so we can stuff Gardner when it comes for the rescue. But of course, with Danny Miner here, AK stalling by the corner. Just a bit unfortunate that we ran towards the wrong direction. Maybe going towards the window might have been a better idea, but now it's going to be a double chair situation. To be able to get Cordy chaired in statue, meanwhile, Gardner is still nearby. Side permission currently 52%. Seems like Dream Witch is able to hear dash. Oh, we did get a bubble up here though. Uh, Magician. Magician speed boosted the way, so there's nothing you can do there. Magician speed boosted the way, so there's nothing you can do there. And this seems like the last three Cypher Machine, Donex is going to go for it. Going Donex trying to control the last Cypher Machine there as well. But as, as you know what? As long as Dream Witcher can. Yeah, just stand around there and you'll be fine. Just stand around there and you'll be fine. But even for first officer here at half health, it's going to be really hard for you to be able to do much. Magician is de leeching right now as well, but it seems like Gardner might actually go down pretty soon as well with 10 seconds left on Blink cooldown we do see magician's leech going back with magician probably around 80 percent d leech mark currently gardner vaulting over getting a little bit of a movement speed boost we do see where first officer is we still do know where magician is but gardner on the other hand though still trying to pull away from this area magician is going to be focused on decoding right there as well seems like we're going to be pulling the leech back towards magician i mean preferably speaking here if we can get a hit on towards first officer or get a leech on first officer it would be for the best but gardner also rushing away from this area just to allow magician to decode is honestly be to god the best thing ever but okay we're gonna start the leeching here immediately as well meanwhile first officer still keep keeping a relatively safe distance magician decoding in runes there were two cypher machine no there's only one cypher machine runes if i'm not wrong but with that on mind gardener might be looking for a blink down here immediately Okay, we did get the pilot vault boost, but the only issue there is Donex was a little bit slow on the vault boost. Donex was very, very, well, a little bit slow, yeah, a little bit slow on the vault boost. Now, we are going to give the leech hit here no matter what happens. So, that, uh, mm, okay, okay, that doesn't change much. That doesn't change much, but the reason why we got the dream witch out is for a win situation, not for a tie situation here, though. Gardner doesn't have bubble here just yet, but Gardner... Mm, Gardner's gonna stall more than enough time for a tie game. So for Dreamwitch's side note, I guess game one Dreamwitch isn't really for the best, especially against Survivor who knows how to kite against Dreamwitch. Tie game is really the best you can do here. Oh, we're gonna get the ball back. And Sunlight here going down. Let's congratulate the tie game here coming from GR Survivors moving on straight towards second half. Let's see here, it's going to be Nia coming out as Opera Singer with insulin Detention. We're going to be having uh, Seer and Acrobat with uh, Windows. And of course, you're going to be able to see the Aeroplanist and First Officer with Ty Turner. Let's move on towards the game then, shall we? Let's move on towards the game then. It's going to be Nia going straight towards Rune. Seems like Rune's is going to be Regisy. Regisy with a Windows Speed Boost, but of course Ty Turner. On that side, oh, it's going to probably be pretty hard here for survivors to actually aim for more if... Mm, could be a win game here, it just really depends. It is fast pilot breaking alongside with a Window Lock. But of course, knowing that it's... Excuse me, knowing that it is... Uh, oh, we, got, we didn't get a hit over a window there, thankfully. Knowing that it's Aeroplanist. Aero, can we dash? We got the first dash, second dash, uh, third dash. You're realizing that the window was actually locked. Just, just, oh, that the window was just unlocked. Okay, that is very unlucky on that side note. Registry putting down the pilot very nicely done. We do have hover, but we need to wait for five seconds for our next jetpack here. Next jetpack, we didn't get hit over the pilot here, thankfully. Still trying to play mind games there. But uh, eventually you're still... Uh, I guess, I guess Opera Singer at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about that. You are going to be able to get a dash in, but you didn't go up the stairs. Preferably speaking, you should try to get upstairs, but I guess for our aeroplanes, it still was a little bit too hard on that side. No, we do have Blink. We did manage to get the Owl out here as well, but even with the Owl out, you should focus on dropping down that pallet and then jumping down. Yeah, because... No, no, aeroplanes, nice hover, nice hover, uh, but you didn't go anywhere. 
Yeah, you didn't really go anywhere. You did manage to use it to... I mean, he did manage to use it... Oh, we gotta hit over the window. He, he did manage to use it to, like, dodge the normal hit, but it's still a hit. It's still a hit here regardless. It is 90 seconds in towards the game, though. A little bit slower of a down compared to last game. But the only difference is it's an opera singer, not a dream watch. So you can't necessarily sell against an opera singer. Well, you could sell against an opera singer if you could, but it's very hard for you to do so compared to maybe if you just rescue against dream, which is still going to be a tie anyways because of the tie turner time as long as you don't get a double down. Now then, first officer here, first contest. Okay, first rescue, first officer, not bad. We still didn't get a hit there just yet, but we're playing really nice mind games into going straight towards the chair here, thankfully. And even with that on mind, we should be able to get a rescue and then ring the pocket watch one more time here so Regisy at the other hand right now should be going down here immediately but even with that on mind first officer rushing away because we're scared that wanted order might actually be on first officer right afterwards but um in this case scenario we're max presenced and with the max presence on mind, how can we get a tie game here is a really good question. Regisi did down in a very far area away from chair, but there's no gardener nearby to get rid of. Well, to harass her a little bit, so there's not much we can do right now. You need a survivor to come in to at least give tight give Gibsonitis. That's what you have to do right now. It seems like we're gonna be able to spot out where uh, where first officer for is first officer being able to use that right now as well we didn't get it on towards first officer that's fine but Evo, Evo on this side, no, it's, it's going to be really scary. Like, even if he gets hit, she should be able to get the rescue. But we want to stall for as much time here as possible. That's going to be a no-damage rescue right there. First officer, beautiful body block. We didn't pull the pallet down. Mm, I would have put the pallet down there. Okay, there we go. Nicely done, first officer. Uh, we do have nostalgic on towards... We do have nostalgic on towards our aeroplane. Mm, the... the, the Ooh, very beautiful pilot stun. Very, very, very nice pilot stun. It seems like Seer is going to be able to finish off his cypher machine here as well. Seer needs to come into body block. That's what Seer has to do. If Seer doesn't body block, it's going to be really bad. Ah, uh, we tried to play pilot mind games there. That's a little bit unfortunate. Tried to play pilot mind games there. That's a little bit unfortunate. But it still should be able to guarantee us a tie. Uh, there is one 73% cypher machine left right now, but I don't know whether that's safe or not to actually go for it. It seems like Acrobat's currently decoding it right now. Survivor is rushing towards that cypher machine here. You need Seer to do it too, but even with that on my... Okay, mm, even with that on my... One, one, one Survivor have to go. No, no, no. Seer has to go. Acrobat can stay. Seer has Seer has to go. Seer cannot stay here anymore. Seer, you have to go. We're going to be able to get it on towards Seer there immediately, but we're not going to pop the cypher machine here just yet. We're going to wait. We have to wait it out here no matter what. Seer needs to rotate properly towards some we're safe. We do see first officer at the X gate right now. We do know that it's a uh, confined space here on towards our opera singer side. We did get the vault over. We didn't get a hit on towards Seer. A little bit unfortunate. We're still trying to play mind games right here. Seer, very nicely done. Very nice pallet drop down. And okay, okay, Seer, Jesus. Gonna be able to get the pop. Very nicely done. Acrobat rushing towards outer side. No, Seer shouldn't be trying to get owls. Oh, Seer got an owl. Oh, wait, that is very fast owl. Uh, but it's still a blink down. Seer should be able to get out of here though, regardless of what happens because he does have an owl, so it's not gonna stop him at all. But we did seem like we were looking at Acrobat. So let's congratulate the tie game here coming from FPX EQ Survivor side. Finally, and move on towards game two. Game 2, Game 2, Game 2.